Councilor Kristen Wong Tam has been targeted as well in this hate-laced letter mailed to City Hall. The language is uh, completely unacceptable, uh, language that's seeped in what I call vitriolic uh, hate. The councilor is running for re-election. This is the second letter she's received since June with words like ugly lesbian, I hope you get AIDS, and a derogatory N-word, which we won't repeat, that is often used for people with Japanese descent. In 2010, I couldn't say that I received anything that even came close to what I'm seeing today. And the big difference is now four years later, um, there is a different attitude in terms of how people want to criticize uh, the policies. Um, they're not attacking the policies, they're just attacking people as individuals. Why do you think we're seeing racial undertones in this election? Um, I guess perhaps a couple of reasons. One of uh, them, we've seen uh, the mayor uh, making uh, comments about uh, black people. I saw him out for a minute. Five months from. He has called Chinese uh, dogs. Those Oriental people work like dogs. So perhaps it's in, within this kind of political climate that. Uh, the small number of people who have these views uh, feel that they have the license to express them publicly. The person behind this letter and the person behind the incident at last night's debate identify themselves as Ford Nation supporters. I don't know who it was, but if they want to talk that way, they aren't part of this campaign. Wong Tam yeah, believes the solution to silencing all this hate is to get the mayoral candidates to speak up. The mayors take decisive action and they denounce uh, homophobic language, uh, racist attitude and slurs. Um, you know, the rest of the city will pretty much rally behind their leader. And today, all three of the top contenders did. I think it's unacceptable. Any slur issued by anybody in this city of that kind is unacceptable. I want to make it very, very clear. I don't condone that. And as for this letter sent to Councillor Wong Tam, well, she has brought it to the attention of Toronto police. Keely Rogers, City News.